It was quite a fun product to be involved in, to be uh, ripping open. And I know it was fun for a lot of folks to come away with some great pop art posters from the most popular artists around the world. And we had some great hits through the product. It was a lot of fun. We had some great gig posters of Metallica and stuff. We had some old looking movie posters and pop art uh, collectibles, big names on the art signatures and some really neat proofs. Uh, we had bounties that were coming out of this product. Uh, some folks got some instant bounties. Some folks got instant redemptions of gift cards and stuff to be able to win instantly with some cool stuff. We even had some framed ones come out, right? How about the framed ones? And it was just a fun break to be a part of. Um, and through the product, we found tickets like this. And now it is time to find out who is winning some of these ticket items. Ho! Ho! So... Uh, it is time for the Foo Fighters Emic One of One Random. So let's get this underway. Let's do this. Foo Fighters Emic One of One Random. We had 10 owner names. And these are the folks that either got tickets or sold or traded their to get their sp ticket spots. Good luck, everyone. Let's find out our winner. Yes, let's find out our winner seven times through. Seven times we random and the winner will be at the top of the list. Lucky number seven, Tanner W. Congratulations, you have won the Emic one of one. Who? Foo Fighters. Tanner W. Tanner has hit this Foo Fighters Emic one of one. And that is that's what this looks like. And it's signed by Emic and is a very, very uh, collected rare Foo Fighters tour poster by the legendary artist Emic. On to the next. This one's called Moonchild. And you can see the artist name right here. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I just don't, I've never heard it pronounced. I don't know how to pronounce it. But obviously, he's an artist with a lot of talent. Uh, that Jensen is, I do not know if uh, someone here at Friendly Collectibles is going to make you an offer or not. I don't know that. But it could be. That's uh, that's definitely something that could happen. I know I'm a big fan of these. And uh, I know if I can get something for the right price, I'm going to try to move on it. I bought one of these the other day from someone <laughs> who hit. So I love, I love a lot of these uh, artworks and everything, too. Um Look, it says right here, we'll make an offer once it is pulled. Look at that. So to answer your question right there, look, at, it says in the description for the ticket list, somebody's willing to make an offer. <laughs> so 
there and we've got our owner list right here we're going to start this random and so let's do it this is for the moon child by this renowned artist congratulations tanner hope from the last one the foo fighters one Seven times. Lucky number seven. Scott L. gets a big congratulations here. Oh, my gosh. Scott was up at the top after nine and it, uh, uh, after uh, six times. And it, your name just happened to stay up there. So, Scott, congratulations to you. You have hit and you have hit this iconic... Uh, Moonchild, and it is quite a piece of work, isn't it? It's beautiful. So that is outstanding. Scott L. Cubs away, a winner. Now on to this ticket list for MX Rock and Roll Carnival Foil Tiger. And it says we'll make offer on this once it's pulled. So there could be an offer out. 12 different owners. It is by Emic. It is a foil tiger, so this one's going to have a very unique look to it. And you can see all the names along the um, tiger right here, all the different names. Beautiful artwork, uh, butterflies and flowers, and very natural looking. Anyway, very cool piece here. So let's see who gets this one. Good luck, everyone. This will be randoming seven times. Rock and roll carnival tiger. <clears throat> Lucky. Number seven, Tyler S. Congratulations. This one is for you. Tyler S. comes away very, very nicely with this hit. And this is the Carnival Tiger. Now we have the Pearl Jam Uncut Skeleton Sheet.
So you can see the trades and stuff that went on. There was some trades uh, to get into this one and things like that. This is a really neat because it's uncut. And it's actually got two signatures on it. It's even got some doodles on it. So you could duplicate. You could cut this and... I don't know. I think it's worth more uncut. It's kind of like a negative of the other a little bit. Maybe, I guess you could say. And then it features a lot of his work. Like, there's the Indian. This is just a really wild thing. It says, Pearl Jam, live in two dimensions. And it's just got this, this really wild looking thing going on here. So, uh, really neat uncut skeleton sheet. I think you should leave it connected and uncut if you do get it. But once you get it, it's yours and you can do anything you want. So let's see what happens. For the Pearl Jam Uncut Skeleton Sheet. Good luck. 7 times. Good luck everyone. Lucky number 7. Alan G, congratulations, Alan. You have hit, and you are pulling the uncut skeleton sheet. So that one is for you, Alan. Alan G. And now for the big, big... Uh, Star Wars matching number set. Three piece set. You can see it's got some numbers down here. It's got, you know, it's got some signatures on the bottom right of it. Hand numbered is what we're looking at. I can see the hand numbered. You probably can't see that, but I can tell they're hand numbered. <clears throat> And what makes this more valuable is that the, they are matching numbered. So how, uh, who else is going to be able to get the matching numbers? You know, uh, that they are matching numbers. That's very significant. So, I mean, this is outstanding to be able to have the um, matching numbers in, in, in such, a, such a neat piece of art. And uh, you can see the wonderful artwork from some of the Star Wars earlier movies during the 80s. I guess this will be, you know... Um, the three there so that that's awesome man that's this is going to be a great hit it's got some big big value and uh, i believe this is also on the bounty list so that's something interesting to note that if you do win this this is on the bounty list you have an opportunity to trade this in Okay, so there were 29 tickets, and then there was a final ticket in the last last box. Okay, so that's that's what we got. Scott picked up the last one. Let's get to it. Let's get to the ramp. Good luck, everybody. Can't wait to see what happens. Hope. Matching number set seven times. This sure is a big hit right here coming up. <laughs> oh, bye. Let's see what happens after seven times. Lucky 
Number seven. Andrew B. Congratulations, Andrew. Oh, my. Would you look at that? Andrew B. comes away with this big hit. And this is a very, very, very nice hit. We were looking at it. And a big congratulations. And everybody, wow, what a fun product to be into. All along the way, there were these tickets. And... um all along the way, we had different winners getting some beautiful artwork items. And then all along the way, everyone got these tickets. And, and now we have several different winners. I want to say congratulations again to Andrew with the Star Wars. Tyler, uh, Tyler Stout, Alan G hitting the Pearl Jam Uncuts. Tyler S with the Rock and Roll Carnival Tiger. Scott L. with the Moonchild and Tanner with the Foo Fighters 101. So good things happening, you guys, around here all the time. Congratulations. That's our Pop Art Poster Break Prize winners. And uh, I'm sure there'll be some more Pop Art Posters around here in a new product. But if you can't wait until then, uh, we do have some Pop Art Posters you can get uh, right here. And you can check these out. They are, there are some for sale. They're really cool. Um, but uh, nothing like what we, we saw with these some of these prizes, like the matching numbered Emic. Uh, that was just outstanding. Huge hits and prizes uh, all through that the whole product. Um, some of these some of these will will get you know have that kind of uh, value or notoriety, but. Some of the ones coming out of that product were just huge in, in, in comparison to a few of these. So, so uh, But anyway, the, we do have these available, and they are, there are some very, very beautiful things right here uh, to check out as well. So Anyway, just good things happening. That is our Pop Art Poster conclusion, and we're getting ready for more great things around here.